Good morning guys, we are back at the tree farm. We've come to collect our tree. It's the earliest we've ever got our tree. Next week, Melissa and I are at our wreath workshop. Um, so I didn't want to try and cram everything in in one day. Are you excited to get our tree up? So excited. So excited. Do you think it's going to be put in a big bag like that? Yeah. These look good, don't they? Yeah. Should let daddy carry it? <laughs> they were selling these holly wreaths, so I thought I'd pick one up for the kitchen. Put it under this side. No, other way. Yeah. And then oh. get to the other end. The other one. Uh, Delilah says she's chilly, so she's hiding in the car. Pretty <laughs> sure. Just thought this time next year when we get our tree, we'll have a different car. We'll still be able to put it on top of the car, but it will be a, a bit smaller than this one. Hopefully, if it all, all goes to plan, I'll also be able to drive it. You holding onto the tree? Yeah. Make sure it doesn't fall off? Yeah. Watch out! <laughs> Mummy's cutting the map. These are very good scissors. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, it's going to pop. Hopefully you don't break any bits. Oh, I hope not. Can I help you do this bit? You want to help me? Yeah. Because I'm small. I like this one. This. Wait. I love the base and I love Christmas tree. Me too. If you are watching this video, it's Lily Christmas. Yeah! Do you know what I think we need to do? What? I think we need to put some Christmas songs on. Yeah! I'm really pleased with our tree. I think we picked a good one. It seems to be very even. It's quite sparse here, but the branches we do have are very sturdy. Hopefully lots of good branches to put our slightly heavier ornaments on. This is our first year getting a non-drop as opposed to the classic classic Christmas tree. Always thought I preferred the look of the more traditional Christmas trees. I'm actually really chuffed with this one. I really like what it looks like. Gone in nicely, it's nice and straight, it's not caused any arguments. <laughs> I need to get some water to put into the base. Is that it? Yeah. Last year when we put the decorations away, I organized everything into these two boxes. I can never remember what's in what. We've got Christmas decorations fragile and then we've just got Christmas decorations. I take this one down first because it has our lights in. Now we just need to remember which lights are for what because even though I've labelled them we've got some lights that say old tree and outside. We can never quite remember which lights are which. Do we usually use two sets? Having your lunch in here whilst we put the lights on? Yeah. Okay, so we have we have our star. This says old tree. Are these redundant? I don't know if we ever use these ones. Thanking my past self for labelling these. So these are obviously the bottom lights for the tree and the top lights. Because I think one year our lights blue and there wasn't much left in the shops. Everything was out of stock so we ended up having to buy two sets of lights. <laughs> Ready? lights than we need. i check the lights gorgeous. Yeah, so they aren't going to. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. <laughs> good job daddy. I won't show you every single decoration we have. I know there are those of you who have been watching us for quite a long time. Would have watched your fair share of vlogmases where we decorate the tree. I had remembered the other day when I showed some decorations, I completely forgot to show you this one. I think it was hiding at the bottom of the box. From the same lady I got the our spoon rest 
from in the kitchen. It's an oyster. Have you found our little people? <laughs> <laughs> he's my favourite. Yeah. Which one is your favourite? I don't know yet. I think it's the angel. The angel. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a baby. Having to recheck the lights because we ended up with too many lights at the top. Look, that's all. Is there any more little people? No, no more little people. <laughs> I remember I got these last year. Little ones. Mushrooms. I like this one with. Do you like that one? Oh, we do have some more little people. We have some mice. And the things that. And this mean. guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit no. funny. He looks like he's in his gym jams. <laughs> he does look like he's wearing his gym jams, doesn't he? I thought now might be a nice time to make a coffee and try some of this panettone. I don't think I've ever had panettone before. It was one of those things that we never had in the house growing up around this time of year. My order from Anthropology came earlier. The one I ordered the other day when I, um, when I went Christmas shopping, mm -hmm. I decided to... Um, get the bits online because I thought I, um, because I could get them a little bit cheaper online. A few Christmas decorations in there. And I need to find some ribbon to put our wreath up. Okay, Bob. Is it good? Yeah. Which one do you want? Got more decorations here. Have you already put a couple on the tree? Yeah. Okay, you're already getting started. Yeah. I put these on our, some of our shelves last year. I think I put these on our kitchen shelf. I love rediscovering all our ornaments. So I got these ones last year, but actually they weren't delivered until after Christmas. Oh, and these starfish. I love, I love these starfish. So many random ones in here. And we've got our, our party dog. And I, t I told you I wasn't going to show you them all, didn't I? <laughs> Let's get these on the tree, should we do it? Let's do it. If we scoot this chair out of the way. We have two dogs. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> <laughs> they had a little party on there, weren't they? Yeah. It's Christmas. Christmas. Little birds are singing like a choir. Chill is nipping at your nose I've been waiting all year for this Grab your cocoa and the remnants So oh, how I love when Christmas comes around the tree and sing along watching hallmark movies all night long i've been waiting all year for this oh these murders i just can't resist oh how i love when christmas comes around open because I know that there's one thing in here for the tree. Turn that down a bit. Making these reindeers. I think they were from Merry Merry a few years ago. Pretty much got everything. Well no we haven't got everything on our tree. I need to still have a look through the boxes. We have most of our decorations on the tree. I'll have a bit of a rejig later when a certain somebody goes to bed. Just want her to enjoy putting the tree together. Let's do her thing. That program's not giving you ideas, yeah. is it? Yeah. It's too bad of you. I wanted to get this little guy. A lion with a um with a Christmas tree. There's also one with a pink jumper on and a snowball. Need to find room for him, don't we, Sausage? And then these were in the sale. They might still be in the sale if they've not all sold out. I'll try and link them. I think the music got loud again. Sorry guys. Anthropology have these ones. 
And I don't know. It's like bits of like small. It does look like snow. Yeah. That was a small one. This is the medium pink one. Oh, I ordered the I don't I don't know if I'll be sending this one back. I ordered this because I thought oh there's glitter everywhere. I thought this would look quite nice on a shelf with other bits and bobs around it. She called it sausage. It's hard to tell um, online until you have it in person. It feels a bit, I don't know, I think they're sweet. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find any way to put this. So this might go back. Who likes? Which is your favorite? That. The pink one. Yeah. Yeah, so the little pink one, little tree. And I think, is that the same size? Oh no, that one's bigger. I think these would look nice anywhere. We'll try them on the shelf in here or we can try them um, in the kitchen. Are you pulling faces? <laughs> you cheeky monkey. Do you want to find a place for this yeah. one? What should we name him or her? Tigery. Tigery. For the shelves over here, I really want to find <laughs> hair in my face. Ordered some pink bottle brush trees the other day because um, I want to use those on, um, on some Christmas presents. I just stuck one up there yeah anyway yeah i've um i've been debating whether to use artificial or real foliage i do have um some other pics to show you as well but yeah i'll have a play around with the shelves another day i don't know if these will be too big for here i guess i guess they would work yeah. this year will be our year to work out um what works well with these shelves and what doesn't party of dogs <laughs> I put one up right there. Let's get these I'm up here. I'm making a note for Father Christmas. You're making a note for Father Christmas? Yeah. Cool. When, right. For when we visit him. Okay. So I can give it to him when we visit him. Okay. I still need to find tickets because everywhere has sold out. I've tried. I've tried Eva Castle. I've tried our local Father Christmas. I'm, just, I'm hoping they can squeeze us in at some point. These felt stars, and like I said earlier, I'll try and link what I can. I always put them along these picture frames. I would, every year I think that I'd really like to, put these here for now, I'd really like to have a garland along the stairs, but at the same time, I, I think it would just get in the way. I see other people's stairs with garlands on and I think they look lovely. I don't know if I'll do it very well. On this side it will look lovely, but then I think on the stair side will it just get in the way? I don't know, I guess you could put something like that around the top. I'm not sure, We've just I've just never got round to actually doing it. So the most decoration we have in here are these. And then um, also got this felt mistletoe. And we have, we have metal and bead mistletoe up there. Oh, and I need to find some ribbon for this to pop this up on the back door although saying that i probably could just hook it on a command hook on the glass although i think i try i think i tried to hook a wreath directly onto the glass one year and the wreath fell off so maybe i'll um yeah i don't know i'll, I'll figure something out let's get these hung up dug in there <laughs> squished amongst the decorations playing his footy are you playing football again you playing football again? Someone was asking us what the game Delilah was playing, that whatever one that was, because they said it looked good. Okay. The, um, the one where you can do, I don't know, you, fl you, you go on bikes and then you also skydive and oh, the Riders Republic. Riders Republic. There you go for anyone who wanted to know. It's always a bit of a balancing act getting these on. Cool. Done. I'm not sure how I usually do them. That'll do. Things are starting to feel very Christmassy. What else do we need to do, mate? Let's get the wreath up. It's really nice that usually, um, oh gosh, I don't know what's going on with my hair here. But now I've had these front bits cut quite short. Um, they don't stay up, but um, it's, really he my hairdresser thinned my hair a lot you know i mean he always thins my hair but he went he went ham on thinning my hair like it was just and i can actually wear my hair up now and it doesn't feel really heavy my buns and my ponytails are half the size now it just well i don't usually have my hair up 
in vlogs. It feels really weird. That looks amazing. Is that you or is that Father Christmas? Father Christmas. Oh, I love that so much. Yeah. I love your Christmas tree. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, I think that is one of your best pictures you've ever done. Oh, Father Christmas. I know and I love it. Oh, can't really see. Oh, look at that lovely sky. Yeah, I think, come on, hook up here. Didn't have much luck finding what I wanted. I, I want, I, I thought I had, and maybe I used it last year and it was the only ribbon I had, and we used it outside, so it might have gone a bit mouldy. I said that really weird, mouldy. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it went a bit um, mouldy, so. Yeah, the only velvet ribbon I have is either this green one or this pink one, which I, green one, mm. They're just not, they're not really thick enough and because velvet, oh this isn't too stretchy actually but I would worry that it would stretch out but I do, I do like this pink. Also, can you hear daddy singing? Yeah. <laughs> we have this ging gingham one and we have this red gingham one. To be honest I think they'd all work. The only thick velvet I have is this black stuff which I don't think is really going to go. It doesn't really matter does it? Um, the red does go, it's quite festive, isn't it? Goes quite well with the berries. Also, I have these lights. I think I bought them last year. I'm not sure if we used them. Um, I thought I would thread them through. So it's quite nice to have some fairy lights in here. Only thing is, so I love that it's, so one year, I'm bringing you up here. One year, either last year or the year before, I bought a wreath that had pine um, pine leaves in and um, pine leaves, pine needles. Every time we open the door, they would drop. So I thought this one's good because it's holly, except it's really spiky. Could probably do with some gardening gloves to put these lights on. I love them. Yes, they, are. they are super bright, aren't they? Wow, there's a lot of them. Maybe we'll use the other ones. Plan B, we have some, I know we have some from previous years in the, in the big box of stuff I brought down. I think they're a bit shorter, so we're gonna use those. Oh, there we go. They're here. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Mm. E. How? <laughs> what did I not have? Oh, I do. What I can make you have. Not quite sure how well you'll be able to see me there. Oh, tree looks so pretty. Almost forgot to show you these things that came. I might send one of these. So I've got two garlands. Well, no, I've got three garlands here. There's two. Oh, sorry, I should probably turn my music down. <laughs> um, there are there are two similar ones, and I'm going to. I, we could keep both because we've definitely got places to put them. I might send one back. I've got this one here from. Sorry, I ordered these from. I never know if I'm saying the company right. Tell me if I'm saying it wrong, but I think it's Berry Loon. Berry Loon, it's one word. I'm running out of battery. I've ordered from them a good a good handful of times over the last few years. They do some really they do some really lovely stuff. They do some great, very um, sort of retro what do you call them? Um, retro kids toys. So I got um I got Delilah some. I want to say their shop is based in Bath, but it's not. I think it's Leamington Spa? Leamington Spa? But yeah, um, anyway, Royal so... Royal Leamington Spa. Royal Leamington Spa. If we ever go there, I would... I'm, I'm going straight to this, um, straight to Berry, Berry Loon, Berry Loon. These are pretty, aren't they, I think? You're meant to fold them. So the music, I swear my music keeps turning up. This is going to take a while. But you're meant to unfold them, so you have these 3D oh, okay. trees. This is by a brand called Afro Art. They do the loveliest... Things. They also do with um, some clothing as well. Delilah has a stripy cardigan mm -hmm. from them. She's had it a couple of years now. I don't know if it still fits her. It'd be great if it did, but I'm not sure if it does. I'm gonna get a new battery because <laughs> it's flashing at me. I'm back in business. This one will definitely keep. I like this. It's really simple. Um, simple, but effective. And um, you like that one. The branches on the non-drop trees are definitely stronger last year we struggled i think we had a bit of bit of a wimpy tree last year don't you because mm. like n none of the um none of the like barely any of the branches would hold any of the heavier ornaments and the needles dropped really quickly and usually oh, still need to put water in the bottom <laughs> as long as we keep it watered usually our trees are fine yeah last year our one died really quickly yet yeah, we did nothing different um than previous years anyway i'm 
this i mean it would be nice to have some color on the shelves over there but i think this would be the perfect length there's a little bell at the end on the end of this as well i can show you well, you can't even see can you it look quite nice above the tv but then it is it's quite it's very white in that area and this is just white or maybe we could hang it hang it on the window by the stairs but i really like this so yes we've got this one and then Okay, so these, these other ones are metal mistletoe garlands. One is longer than the other, but I thought one of them, if I put it in the window in the kitchen, I could just double up the extra long one. The white beads and this is gold, the one we have near the kitchen is silvery. <laughs> Give me a massage. I think I think this is the almost I think this is almost two meters. Can I get this one up? And this one, I get a little bit out to show you. Very similar, so it's got the beads. The leaves are a bit different. Can you see? So there's a very, there's a very slight difference in the leaves. Like these are a lot shinier and a bit more mistletoe shaped. These just look more like, more like general leaves, generic leaves. I'm gonna see if I can get one of them in the kitchen. I don't know. Anyway, I think we should watch our first Christmas film of the month. Should we watch a Christmas film? Yeah. Are you handing out the chocolates? Can I have one? Is there a pink one? Mmm. Do you like it? Yeah. I feel like pink isn't many people's favourites when it comes to quality street, but yeah. Pinks and reds are my favourite. Turns out not only does she like smelly cheese like her father, she also likes coconut. I am not a fan of coconut. I'm gonna whip the hoover around and we're gonna get this chair. I moved this chair out of the way so we could get to the tree. We need to get this chair back in. I've um, I've ordered a new chair um, to replace this one. It's not gonna be here before Christmas, but it should be here before New Year. I was really hoping it's not too big. Yes, it's a Lila. It's quality street all over the floor. Lining them all up. I mean, it is truly officially Christmas. We've got Quality Street, the Christmas tree is up. Christmas songs are on. I mean, you can't get more Christmassy than that. I love that the fairy lights reflect onto the um, the print that we have here. Have we decided what film we're going to watch? Is it Elf? Did we want to watch Elf? Elf. Yeah. Oh, I need to, um, oh, it's gone out. I need to trim my wig. Let's find out. Let's try that again. Ah! Film starting. We've gone for Elf. I think I'll save Home Alone for film. next week. Do you remember the film? Is it a good film? I almost forgot I've got a vlogmas to get up tonight. So I have um, just been, just been sat here filling out the description. Doug and I were thinking, oh, getting a takeaway tonight as it's a Saturday and um got the tree up and yeah it's been it's be it's been a nice way to finish off the day. You have two more weeks left at school that's it. Don't know where the month is going. Trying to work out which days roughly I want to film. But I definitely need to work out if I'm going to film tomorrow. And so like sometimes the maths of trying to work out when a vlog will because this vlog will go up on the wednesday so i'm trying to think right so then i'm gonna film on this day so that's gonna upload on that day it <laughs> shouldn't be this hard but it makes my brain hurt they're all coming in we need to get some presents underneath that tree you off to bed <laughs> <laughs> Food is here. We've um we've just stuck on Graham Norton. It's been a couple of hours since we had dinner. I just haven't vlogged anything since. I was thinking earlier how usually when I do my wrap with me videos, I always wait until we have our tree up. Every vlogmas I wish that I can get the wrap with me up a bit earlier on in the month but because we usually don't get our tree up until the middle of the month the wrap with me's always end up being later this year the tree is up early but i barely have any christmas shopping done the wrap with me probably going to go up around the same time that it usually does if i'd been organized and done more of my christmas shopping um earlier 
I could have filmed it next week. Getting our tree up has made me feel so happy. I forgot I bought this one last year. I love this one. This um, like reindeer sausage dog with confetti in. I've noticed the tree is actually quite sparse compared to other trees we've had. You can kind of see that there's a fair few gaps. If you watch the vlog where we went and picked our tree, um, then you'll know that there weren't many trees left. So we just had to um, go with the, the first one we saw that looked good. Not that I mind, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just happy that we have a tree. One thing I'm really glad, ooh, almost spilt a load of wax on me. One thing I'm glad we got, usually the tree takes up this whole space. I think we were also trying to be conscious of the fact that we now have the radiator cover there and we didn't we just we were we didn't want everything to be too cramped i could easily reach to turn the tree on and off in previous years we haven't been able to reach the plug socket and then back in our flat and even i remember i remember having to do it as a kid crawling under the tree to try and turn it on and off got that i think it's a phillips plug it's connected to our google if you have a google get yourself one of the Philips smart plug. I think it smart plugs. I think it's Philips. And then you can just tell your Google to turn your tree on in the morning and off in the evenings. It's great. <laughs> it saves the hassle of needing to squash past the tree or crawl underneath it. And also Delilah thinks it's the best thing. I'm not sure if we need to reconnect it. Google, turn tree lights off. Sure. Turning off the tree lights. <laughs> there, there we go. I will see you for Vlogmas 5? Five? 5? Five? Is, this, is this number 4? I think this one's number 4. So I will see you for Vlogmas Day 5 um, in a couple of days. Goodbye.